Greetings. Thanks for stopping by, and uh, I'm excited to share with you the explanation of what I call the rolling retention. Now, this combines a few ideas, and I'll get into that in a little bit. Now, the classic retention has its place, but I always preferred some other types of vanishes. Uh, for instance, you got just this one, or just this toss vanish from Al Baker. Another good one out of Bobo's is the Mulholland Slide Vanish. I just think they look more casual, natural, and, you know, the focus is not on this placement. But what else do they all have in common? The coin is in motion. You're, you're dropping the coin, or you're, you're tossing the coin, or the coin is sliding. So I've tried to incorporate that into, into this idea. First off, the vanish starts out with an idea from Al Schneider called the snapback. There's a similar description of this vanish in the first item of the book, Coin Magic, from Richard Kaufman. Now, it's taking the classic retention of vision and breaking the move down to just the first two fingers. So as the coin is covered, it's just the middle finger pulling that coin back. So you're there. The coin is basically balanced on the middle finger. So with that in mind, you can be tossing the coin up. And as you go to approach the left hand, the right hand brings the middle finger under the coin, almost like you're gonna flick it up in the air again. But you come, dip your hand forward, and a little bit tilt it back so the coin stays in touch with the middle finger. With that control, you're, you allow your fingers to roll out, and the coin appears to be tumbling out, but it's still under control of the middle finger. So as you approach the left hand, at the moment of when you're fully extended, the left hand begins to cover, and the right hand then dips back, and then palm down. So you're extending, cover, and you twist and come away. Now for a second, you leave that coin just at fingertip rest, as your attention is here. Make that look convincing. And as you come up to gesture, do a wave, we're gonna move this coin to the top of the thumb and type of balance palm. And that's just moving your thumb out and below the coin and just clench. So from the front, we're at fingertip rest. I'm gonna to go to wave my hand over this coin. I'm gonna come up and do that. So you're here and then here. Now you can do a little bit of a hand wash. And this coin's going to be transferred to back thumb palm just by virtue of coming vertical. So as you move vertically, you're just closing your thumb against your hand. If you were to come back horizontally, you're in balance palm. So the coin has vanished, you wipe your hands, and now you can show your hands. Now the other ideas I showed in the demonstration were uh, to ditch into your pocket and then to recover the coin. So for the ditch, you do the vanish portion and then go into balance palm. As you come up, you're handing that invisible coin, 
come back this way. Bring your hand towards your pocket. Not all the way to your chest, but you know, halfway here. What you're gonna do is with your left arm, you're gonna shield the view of this hand. So you've come here, you come back. As you approach to the center, you're gonna just dump the coin into the pocket. So you've done the vanish. That coin has apparently become really small. You look at it, swing now, dump, grab it again, throw it up. So the vanish, the handoff, back, dump, grab again, and it's gone. Now the, the third idea in the demonstration was the vanish and then recovery of the coin. So the vanish is the same as before. You're here. You can make that coin small, however you want to play this. But I tell the audience it's either invisible or it's become really small. You can kind of, the coin is in balance palm here. So you can gesture down here. Once you come up, you've got to pinch that. So you can kind of back away from this as you're looking at it. But you don't want to hold here for too long because it looks a bit awkward. But you come up like this, like you're looking at it. Now drop this hand and make sure they realize there's nothing in this hand or that the coin is really small. You're going to toss up nothing, follow it in the air, as you come down, all you have to do is drop your hand and open your thumb. And that coin lands right in the center of your hand. So again, the vanish, pause a little bit, transfer to balance palm. You can gesture here. Both hands come up. This is pinched. You're looking here. Come down with this hand. As you show this, toss, and this drops, and thumb opens. And whenever that coin comes back, I like to immediately toss it up, just for, so they definitely see it has arrived. Well, thank you guys for coming to check out my video. Uh, I will be putting up more stuff like this, uh, along with some discussions about just theories of coin magic, how to approach coin magic, you know, how to tackle different moves and ideas. And uh, I plan on reviewing some books, uh, downloads. Uh, if you want to leave a comment about something you want to learn or an idea you want to discuss, please leave a comment and please subscribe. Thanks again.